With a mere 44 days remaining until the start of the regular season, our focus turns to Stefan Robida, who enjoyed a remarkable 14-year NHL career representing multiple teams including the Montreal Canadiens, Chicago Blackhawks, Anaheim Ducks, Toronto Maple Leafs, and the Dallas Stars, with two separate stints. Robida started his NHL journey during the 2001 season, donning the number 44 jersey for the Canadiens. Throughout his NHL tenure, Robida predominantly operated as a depth defenseman. In 2014, he penned a lucrative three-year contract worth $9 million with the Toronto Maple Leafs. However, hindered by the aftermath of suffering two leg fractures during the 13-14 season, Robida faced ailing health. Consequently, after a sole season with the Leafs, he remained inactive for the subsequent 2015-16 and 2016-17 seasons. Robida is most notably recognized for the origin of Robida Island. This concept emerged from the notion that players like Robida struggled to find consistent playtime due to roster constraints. Coincidentally, Robida's severe leg injuries rendered him incapable of NHL participation, leading to his placement on long-term injured reserve, LTIR, enabling the Leafs to leverage his cap space. During this period, Lou Lamorello was the Leafs' general manager, and his sway in decision-making was widely acknowledged. When circumstances necessitated Robida virtual departure, the means were swiftly orchestrated. This led to the curious case of his career-ending injury, potentially orchestrated by one of the NHL's influential figures. This marked the inception of the phenomenon termed, Robida Island. Age-related decline and diminishing performance rendered Robida a perceived liability, prompting many Leafs fans to advocate for younger talents to replace him. Out of seemingly nowhere, Robida was declared incapacitated, vanishing from the scene. Updates about his condition remained scarce, fostering the jest that Lamorello had exiled him to Robida Island. This designation consequently symbolized players who were seemingly shuffled aside or afflicted by random injuries when deemed dispensable by their teams. In the aftermath of this island's creation, numerous Leafs found themselves metaphorically banished. Joffrey Lupel, Jared Cowan, Jake Muzzin, and most recently, Matt Murray, all secured metaphorical one-way tickets. This came to be known as being relegated to Robida Island. Notably, this applied when a Leaf player sustained an injury allowing the team to utilize LTIR space for cap relief. The latest addition to this narrative arrived with the Toronto Maple Leafs' announcement that Matt Murray, with his substantial $4.867 million cap hit, would join the LTIR ranks. Effectively, this means that his cap hit would not factor into the team's financial equation for the impending 2023-2024 season, albeit with some intricacies. The online platform currently known as X promptly erupted with memes and quips like, Welcome to Robida Island Matt. Given Murray's history of injuries, there exists the possibility of his career potentially being over. This injury-induced scenario simultaneously creates cap flexibility without needing to attach an asset for contract disposal. Worth mentioning is that the majority of players previously confined to Robida Island did suffer legitimate injuries. Feel free to share your thoughts on Murray being jettisoned to Robida Island in the comments section below. And remember to show your support by liking and subscribing. Looking forward to connecting with you in the next installment.